Hello, Americans. Look at this goddamn wheel. Back again, man. This morning. It's kind of funny how bright that uh, camera looks, man. It's, the sun's just starting to come up. It's starting to brighten up where I can see, but uh, not as bright as it looks on that camera. So this morning, excuse me, this morning, uh, been out here since 4.30, <laughs> but uh, got some news last night that my uh, brother Zach is in the hospital, and yes, he's had the, the, the vaccine or whatever, the shot, but uh, he's got the COVID. I think my nephew, uh, or the same with my nephew, you know, he's young. He got it, and he's doing okay, but, uh, is that the ox his oxygen levels was down, they put him in the hospital. So he's over, uh, he's over in Washington, I don't know, I don't know if there's no logs over there, dude. <laughs> so, man, please, uh, Put my brother in your thoughts and prayers, man. Jeez, it's crazy crap, dude. Crazy crap. But that's the man the first freaking. Oh man, put yourself out here in these videos. You wouldn't believe some of the comments of crap that I've. Uh, it's freaking the max or the worst, man. Really crap. We're not gonna get all into that, man. I'm just freaking saying, man. I just want uh, thoughts and prayers for my brother, who has been vaccinated. So, there should be no stupid comments on this video. Look that, man. I've been going, coming. Sitting out here and then listing, man, so you can go over and check out lots of new stuff on the eBay store. Now the sun's coming up and I've got uh, cakes on the griddle. Listen to all these freaking, <laughs> dude, I just can't believe how loud it is out here as the sun comes up anymore. It used to be so peaceful down in the creek bottom. And they're building freaking houses all around me. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to try to get to the, uh, tractor today. I picked up that oil a while back, and the weather's just been so flipping nasty. It was dang cold yesterday. Um, tomorrow we got, you know, we'll see, I haven't, uh, talk to him yet to see for him but tomorrow should be the last day up the fences oh. and the weather's supposed to change man it was uh, crazy uh, middle of the day. Oh, like I said man it was supposed to snow yesterday it ended up I think the high, I think the high temp yesterday was in the high 40s man it was pretty chilly all day Wind blowing, nastiness. This morning, man, it's a little calm. It's supposed to be warmer today. The overnight's low, still below freezing, I think, tonight. Um, yeah. Winter, man, the snow, all that's coming, man. A lot of people text me or uh, message me here in Idaho that have uh, gotten the snow, man. So I don't know. We slid by that one, luckily. Let's check it out today. Yeah, today's high is 53 today. No, I guess overnight low. They're saying 33, whether that's right or not. And then tomorrow, man, 61 degrees tomorrow. And they did the whole forecast. All of it still, the lows are going to be uh, well, mid 30s and stuff. But well, whether this thing's right or not, man, it's supposed to be actually pretty nice next week. Um, 
Ooh, <laughs> so I'm gonna be busting butt. We are gonna try to take off and venture out for one day, which will take me long for that. Uh, maybe sometime next week. Kevin D is uh, finishing up, you know, his job with the um, his job with the Forest Service is seasonal. Seasonal deal, and he's finished up today's his last day on that, and then he'll be uh, he'll be coming back a couple days a week. His days off, but he's actually going back to work for the uh, for our state of Idaho the Parks Department. So but he won't be around as much. It's kind of a bummer. My brother's been heavy on my mind all night. It's such a scary time, man. It's crazy. <laughs> Just changed my own mind, dude. This is a good day. I film when I do some stuff. It's about time to start uh, get out here and get to work and go and list a few more things. I got this fire like super flipping hot, burning my damn knees. Oh, that's better. Let's see what else, man, is going on, dude. Uh, all the. Uh, <laughs> I heard this morning when I turned my my four minutes of the news about all I need that uh your uh faithful president Biden's gonna save the, the shortages. <laughs> Such an idiot dude. Oh I can't stand that guy. <laughs> but uh did some I didn't see it. I really I caught a little bit of it this morning that he's going to they're going to work 24-7, unloading uh, cargo ships and all that stuff. Why they didn't call in, you know, if it's, it was that big of a deal. I've been saying it for months. If it was that big of a deal, why the hell didn't they have uh, National Guard, the military, you know, in there doing that? It's all planned, dude. It's all such a freaking plan. Oh, dude, the worst. I have never, never witnessed such a worthless administration ever. Obama was pretty worthless, but this dude takes the freaking cake. Wait, he's part of it, man. <laughs> oh, paid, uh, well, I paid it when we went up the mountain and the general broke down, man. I put, uh, I don't want to put it, man. The general, 35 or 40 bucks because I run ethanol free. Just under five bucks a gallon. And I put some in the general, you know, got up there halfway, the fuel pump, then the clutch started doing the crap and hobbled it back here and all that. And then turned around, grabbed the green bean. It needed fuel too, which I run ethanol free, man. Those rigs won't even run on that moonshine. But damn, uh, Ethanol, at least those two, the, the Exploder and the um, Yoda van, they, you know, you can run whatever in those, they, they're more made for it, but them old rigs, dude, especially the green bean, man, it won't, it will spit and sputter, it's like, get this crap out of me, so anyway, so I'd done that with the gas, went up there, hobbled it back in here, jumped in the green bean to go run the fences, and it needed fuel too, so I put another 40 bucks in that one too. And 40 bucks didn't even fill that little thing. Crazy dude. Almost five bucks a freaking gallon. And then I heard, uh, I don't know if it was a podcast or a uh, YouTube thing or whatever, that um, propane's going to skyrocket too. And so those, I'm like, holy crap, better fill all my tanks. So we load up the tanks, go down. Actually, Kevin went to, to them, and 
um, our, where we get our propane, the little town down the road, dude, they were out. <laughs> I was like, oh no, dude, oh no. They ended up getting some, and I don't even know what I, I don't think the prices, they weren't gouging me too bad yet, I don't think. I think it cost me a couple bucks more than it normally does. I've been telling you, man. I've been telling you, dude. Get ready. Because, uh, we, you ain't seen nothing yet. Man, it's going to, I think it's going to get bad. I hope not. Man, I, I ain't like some of these channels on there. I swear some of them are just hoping. Just to give them something to do the videos, man. There's one kid I watched that, uh, oh, man. Sometimes he's all right, sometimes he annoys me. But, uh, that guy, man, if there ain't nothing happening in the, uh, freaking, whatever you want to call it, man. The shit hits the fan, uh administration or something like that if he ain't got nothing to talk about that then he wants then he starts talking about solar flares and uh volcanoes and all that dude i guess that guy just lives for that shit or something i don't know you know it's, it's all dude everything you know it's real but and i ain't gonna base my channel on just shit hits the fan i try to throw it out there just you know a little bit here, a little bit there, because it's coming. But his channel, from what I found him, uh, two or three months ago or something like that, his channel, he had like uh, 10,000 subscribers or something. Now he's up to 40 or 50,000, <laughs> you know. And I see the views, like in this video, man, or on the other videos, dude, when I talk about shit hits the fan and preparedness or pre preppers or any of that, it just, yeah, which I mean, dude, if it's useful information, then that's good. Oh, you know what the hell I'm talking about, man, I'm just babbling, babbling, playing with the fire, mainly just wanted to do a little morning coffee check in and Prayers going for my brother. I'll be waiting. You know, they're an uh, hour, hour behind us. So if it's 6 o'clock here, it's 5 o'clock yet. 5 o'clock there. I don't know what time it is. It's getting lighter now, so it's probably uh, like 7, 7 o'clock. 7, 7.30, something like that. I don't know what time it is, man, but that's... uh. That's really stuff I got for you, man. That's. I can't even think. I want to make sure and hear that. Hopefully, he's doing better when I uh, got messages from her, from his daughter, from my niece. And he was doing better last night before I went to bed. It was earlier, you know, his numbers or his oxygen numbers and all that stuff were down. You know, we've all, uh, I don't go into it just because there's so many freaking ladies out there, but, you know, we've all, we've all went through the COVID, man, the whole, my whole tribe's been through the COVID thing, it just kind of lingers around, man, <clears throat> but, I think that everybody's, you know, get... Hopefully Zach gets out of there today. Hopefully he gets his oxygen levels up there. Spirit in times, dude. Spirit in times. That's all I got for you. <laughs> so, please put my brother in your thoughts and prayers. Everybody else out there, man, be careful out there, dude. Stock up, man. If you haven't already started, it's not too late. You know, might not be able to get some stuff, but man. 
don't think things are going to, I don't think it's going to be a very good winter. But I'd rather think positive and think it's going to be great, man. My firewood supply is good. I'm stocked up. I'm ready. Yeah. Hopefully it's, hopefully we just cruise through this. And I wish we were coming into spring now. It'd be great. Good Lord willing. And them creeks don't rise. We'll be back again tomorrow. See ya. Okay.